All right, if you were paying attention during that commercial break, you probably noticed a negative political ad. And if you think it's getting nasty here in Michigan, you've got to take a look at just how far candidates are going in other parts of the country. He wants to force raped women to bear the child. Submit to me. With Taliban Dan Webster. Charlie Malone song. Thanks to him, we might as well put out a welcome sign for illegal aliens. Michelle Bachman, not doing for the people of the 6th District. Why did Rand Paul once tie a woman up, tell her to bow down before a false idol and say his god was Aqua Buddha? Would you lie about serving in a war? Dick Blumenthal did again and again. Linda McMahon will be another vote for Obama's taxpayer-funded bailouts. McMahon supporting Obama's bailouts. Isn't that just a kick in the... All right, almost half of Americans think that we are seeing more of this nasty business this election season. As a matter of fact, most say they don't work. 58% of those polled say they might even vote for the other candidate because of the negative ad. If that's true, why do so many candidates rely on negative ads to try to get the vote? Obviously, they do work in some way, so let's find out. Dr. Mike Bernanke is a professor of marketing at U of D Mercy, and Steve Hood is a noted political consultant who's crafted many negative ads in his time, but he won't tell us which ones. It's okay, Steve. We understand that. <laughs> Why do you use negative ads? You obviously think they work. What are you trying to do? Use negative ads to define your opponent. If you can define your opponent, Murray, before you, before they, uh, your opponent can define themselves and better than they can define themselves, you can beat your opponent. You also use negative ads when you're behind the polls and you want to chop at your opponent's lead. Who are you directing the negative ads to? The voters out there? You're directing the negative ads to the voters and the undecided voters. You're trying to first grab the undecideds and pull them over to your side. And then secondly, you're trying to grab the other guy's vote, all right, and bring it over to your side. Dr. Mike Bernanke, I know you believe negative ads work, so then why don't we see it in products that we buy? For example, why don't we see Coca-Cola saying, hey, Pepsi is junk? Well, because, of course, it never go in the marketplace. You know, there's a very limited shelf life with reference to politics. And you can't correct it. That is a product ad. You can't correct it overnight. It takes time. With political advertising, you generate fear. You have entertainment. You grab attention. And you have success. It would never work in the mar marketplace. Matter of fact, give me a product versus a political person any day of the week, and you can succeed with negative ads. You can do it to a person, but you can't do it to a well-known product. The fact is that 62% of Americans think that you can win a campaign without going negative. That's a brand new poll that's just out. Steve, are we ever going to see the day where a candidate can really take the high road? Yes. You, you we're going to see that day, but the problem is the candidate can take the high road all the time, but candidates make mistakes. If you're behind the polls and your party wants you to win, all right, you've got to chop the other guy down. All right, so you'll see a lot of positive ads. You can go on the high roads, but somebody is going to start a fight. And once right. you start a fight, it has to come back. It has to come back. All right, we talked to a lot of voters about the ads that they see. Listen to what some people told us about them. And I usually go look it up and see if what they're actually talking about is true. I don't just go by what the ads say. I would do my best to find out if that were true on my own and not just take their word for it. I, I would do the research. I wouldn't just believe the other party. And I'm just going to, you know, do my research. You're not just going to pick anything, go over the top of your head, the rumors you hear. You're going to do some research. Almost 7 out of 10 Americans are now turning to the Internet to research the candidates. Those people said they research them. 7 out of 10 Americans do it on the Internet. Does that change the game for creators of political ads, Steve? Actually, it does. What happens is if your ad is good enough, you've really hit nirvana if you get the press and the Internet to pick it up. All right? So, for example, with the Blumenthal-McMahon race out in Connecticut. That's the one where the lady kicked the guy. That's where, that's the, where, the late, where she kicked the guy on WWE Raw. Yeah, okay. the WWE Actually, WWE I, watched, I watched that episode. But <laughs> what happened first in that race was that she made the claim that Blumenthal mistakenly uh, talked about his Vietnam War experience. And she kept hammering on it. The press picked it up. It was on the Internet so people could actually research and see that he, in fact, did not serve in Vietnam. All right, so now you're talking about the Internet and you're talking about what's out there. Google, for example, says its political advertising 
for Senate and gubernatorial races like the ones you just talked to, that political advertising is up 800 percent right now. Mike, is that a cleaner way to get a message across if you really want to try to take the high road? You go on that kind of Sure. You know, medium. there's no doubt about it because, you you know, the multimedia today not, in, not only includes the usual press, but with the Internet and we have, of course, social networking. That's the way to go. And what negative advertising does, it really enables you to get there, get there quickly if you're interested. If you're interested, guess what? You're involved and you may vote as a result. Of it. And, so you, would, and you may get clean information. Yeah, there's no mm -hmm. doubt about it. So right. I would offer to you, this is a better way of doing it, not a worse way of doing it. People say they don't look at negative advertising baloney. Of course they do it. It's a starter kit for success in and, the political atmosphere. And so if we take that point and believe it, like it or not, negative ads do put impressions out there. Whether you buy the message or whether you don't buy the message, it's often hard to track who's saying what about whom in these things. Well, it's a week before the election right now, and at this moment, we are told that a third of Americans have still made, not made up their minds on key races. Mm -hmm. So where do you turn for the real deal on these people who want your vote and are asking for your vote? Many say, like we just have seen here, you go to the mm -hmm. Internet. Now, mm -hmm. I want to tell you, we have a politics page on myfoxdetroit.com. It has real hard facts. It's been created by neutral researchers for your education. Our web executive producer, Dennis Craniac, gives you a tour of what's on there. Our job at myfoxdetroit.com is to get you informed for the election, and we're doing that right now. If you want to come with me, I'll show you. This is Jeff. He's working on something right now. We partnered with Publius.org. Jeff simply typed in his name, first name and last, and hits go. Go ahead, Jeff. Show him. What it does is it actually spits out your ballot. That's what it's going to look like the day you go into the election booth. That is Jeff's ballot. This is what it looks like. And with it, there are links to the candidates' websites. You can go deeper on the issues, things like that. It makes it very simple, gets you informed. You can click and print it, and you're ready to go on election day. Jim, if you look over on his other screen right over there, you see the video of the only snyder Bernaro debate. You can actually watch the whole thing. We uploaded the whole thing for you, plus every video interview that we've done so far in the political season, it's on our politics page. So you can watch these guys, hear them talk, decide for yourself if they deserve your vote. Now, over here, Mark Schindelwolf is working on something what we call liberal or conservative match. You take a series of 12 questions and you find out where you stand. Am I liberal? Am I conservative? Am I something else? And I got to tell you, a lot of people are surprised by the results. When you're all done, you can find out what the hot issues are that are ripping across America right now. And finally this, we needed a little help in getting some information. We turned to the League of Women Voters and for all the races and all the issues, there's a quick voter guide that we link to. It's that simple. Our job is to get you informed for the election. It's all in the politics page of MyFoxDetroit.com. And, of course, on Election Day, we'll have all the results there, too. That's it. All right. That's our executive web producer, Dennis Craniac. All you have to do is hit MyFoxDetroit.com, and it's all there on the political page. Final question as we wrap this thing up, Mike Bernanke. Is this where we're going, the online media? Is this where everything is going? There's no doubt about it, because it gives you individual engagement. And all you have to do is just... Get started, and of course, you can get your needs fulfilled, whatever it happens to be. And by the way, this will encourage a greater turnout, not a lesser turnout. The garbage that we hear just isn't so. All right, hang on to that thought. You say in order to get to the clean page, it has to be something negative that motivates them in a lot of cases. It has to be negative, and it has to be visually engaging. You have 28 seconds to make your points, to do shock and awe and educate. All right, so... Any, any grade schooler with an app with a Mac can actually create what you see in these political commercials. All right? But it takes a real talent to grab you in 28 seconds. You have to morph people. You have to do something that's visually engaging because people will get tired of it. They get tired of all the same ads, the pictures moving around, but you have to do something that grabs them. And Murray, all this will change in three years when Google TV takes off. But in the meantime, I get the feeling you love this stuff. You love these negative ads. You love doing this. Thing. I don't really like the dark arts all the time. All okay? the time. All the time. I don't. But I'm telling you, it's really fun. All right? It's really fun to sit there and create and create something that in 28 seconds can grab somebody and say, hey, I think this guy's a bad person. All right? I'm going to go research what this ad said. And once that happens, once it goes viral, 
it's all over for the other person unless they can come back and combat it. Yeah, or, unless, way, or, or unless people, real quickly, unless people get the clean stuff. Yeah, well, you know, the way to combat it is you can't combat it with the truth. You don't have enough time in the political arena. Right. How do you combat it? Bad it? Another negative ad. <laughs> Another negative ad. You see a negative ad, you want to know the truth? MyFoxDetroit.com. we got that political page up and running for the mm -hmm. next week. Mike Bernanke, Steve Hood, thank you so much for being with us tonight and explaining this. Nice to meet you. As we move our way toward the election.